In our last video, we have studied machine dependent assembler features. Okay. In that, we have seen two features. One is instruction formats and addressing modes. And the second one is program relocation. And this instruction formats and addressing modes we studied in the previous video. And now we are going to study about program relocation. Okay. So in this program relocation, we will study relocatable code, need for relocation and some examples. And we will also study modification record. How to generate object program using this modification record. Okay. So as we know that object code is generated by the assembler. But if the assembler does not know where the object code is loaded into the memory, there generates a code called relocatable code. Now, what is relocatable code? If the assembler does not know where the object code will be loaded in memory, so it generates a code called relocatable code. Okay. So, during assembling, this assembler assumes the relocatable code starting address would be 0. Why? Because it does not know where it is loaded in memory. That's why. Okay. So now we will see what is the need for relocation. Need for relocation occurs two reasons. Due to two reasons. The first reason is. Assembler does not know where the object code will be. In which location in memory. So it generates a relocatable code. In this case the loader helps the assembler to to load the object module in memory anywhere okay so that is the first case and the second case would be when the machine's memory is not large enough to support many programs so there comes swap in and swap out okay swap in and swap out okay so the programs need not be in the same memory location when they are swapped in now the relocation is needed these are all the two reasons why we are going for relocation okay so i'll also write here the first reason is assembler does not know the generated object code is in which location in memory so it approach and now it generates a relocatable code and who helps? Loader helps the assembler to load the object module. Module in anywhere in the memory. Okay. This is the first reason. And the second reason is what? When the machine's memory, I mean the computer's memory is not large enough to support many programs they need swap in and swap out process so when we are doing this process programs need not be in the same memory location when they are swapped in and swapped out that time we go for relocation okay let me explain you with an example now okay we will take instruction load accumulator 3. Okay. And object code 102D. Okay. So now what does it do? This instruction. it The value 3 will be loaded to the accumulator. Okay. So the last 4 uh, uh, bits would be the address. Okay. So assume that if your program starts at the location 1000. Okay, so if the program starts at your location 1000, you will get 102D. Suppose, if we attempt to load these instructions and execute the same in the memory location 2000, what happens? This 102D will not contain any value what we expect. It will be a part of some other's user program because we have loaded the same instruction into another memory location 2000. Okay. So now we knew that varying programs from one location to the another location, your program will not run as it is. To tackle this situation, we go for a 
modification record that's why we are using the modification record so far we have seen many records like header record text record and end record and here we are going to study about modification record okay so we'll take an example uh, 0006 c loop j sub r d r e c okay this is one instruction so as we know that this is a four byte instruction okay before that we will see the template of the modification record okay in column one we'll write here modification record template Okay. In column 1, we have to mention M, stating that this is a modification record. Okay. And in column 2, 2 to 7, we have to give starting location of the address field, which is to be modified. Address field to be modified. Okay. And this is also represented in bytes. Okay. And here column 8 to 9. Length of the address. Length of the address field to be modified. To be modified. And this has to be represented in half bytes. Now this holds uh, 2 bits, not 2, sorry, 6 bits and this holds 2 bits. Okay, fine. Now this is an instruction. So as we know that this is a format 4 instruction. Okay, so the uh, location starts at 0006, format 4 at the 1, 2, 8, Nine. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine. So four bytes we have. Okay, so the address and this zero 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 six is occupied by the C loop J sub R D R E C instruction and the modification record uh, starts from this address from this address zero 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 seven. Okay, so now what we have to do is. Uh, in order to generate an object program so in the column 1 we have to define m okay stating that this is a modification record so we have placed m over here and in the next column to move to the next column before that we have to place a separator okay in the column 2 to 7 what it states starting location of the address field to be modified what is the starting location of the address field to be modified 0, 0, 0, 007 okay so we have to write 0, 0, 0, 007 okay as we hold this 6 bits here we have given 4 bit we have to add two zeros over here to uh, occupy six bits okay and in the next column it states again a separator here and in the next column it states that length of the address field to be modified that to be in half bytes what is the length of the format 4 instruction format 4 instruction the length is 20 bits the address holds what 20 bits i mean the displacement holds 20 bits okay so this 20 bits divided by 4 which means what 1 byte is equal to 8 bits am I right now half bytes which means 4 bits so it has to be represented in half bytes am I right so here 20 bits divided by 4 you will get an answer 0 5 okay that has to be placed here 0 5 so it occupies 2 bits it is occupied now the modification record for this instruction would be m 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 007 and 0, 05. This is the object program. I will also tell you an another example uh, like instruction 0026 plus J sub again a format uh, 4 instruction write record. Okay, so now this has to be modified in the sense we have to write the modification uh, program for this object program. Okay, again the column 1 states 
modification record right m yeah. before that we have to check the address since it is a format 4 instruction we go for 0 0 2 6 and 4 bytes we have to add 2 7 2 8 2 9 okay so 0 0 2 6 occupies this instruction and the modification record starts from 2 7 okay and proceeds till 2 9 okay so now modification record a separator and the second column states starting location of the address field to be modified okay so the starting location is 0027 write it here 0027 so 4 bits again add 2 zeros to occupy 6 bits here okay and again a separator and we are moving to the third column and what the column uh, third states here 8 to 9 length of the address field to be modified what is the length format for instruction 20 bits 20 divided by 4 0 5 so again you will be writing 0 5 here and now this is the modification record for format for instruction j sub wr rec okay so now we study program relocation what relocatable code okay need for relocation and examples when we are trying try to attempt the particular location from one to the another we are in need of a modification record to identify okay to generate an object program okay and the record is modification record and using modification record we will generate an object program here okay and the need for a relocation would be one this assembler does not know where this generated object core is, code is in memory that time we need a relocation and the second one is when the memory is full, we go for swap in and swap out process. That time also we are in need of a relocation code. Okay. And now we have a, a scene with an example. When we try to uh, what um, move the program from one location to another, we are in need of a modification record. And the template states EM starting address of the field to be modified in the column 2 and the length of the address field to be modified in the column 3. Okay.